Oh, that lying little pothead. Anders, I'd hug you right now, but neither of us really wants that. Up for a day trip? The mother of the groom. Feel free to skip the wedding, Laura. I'm sure Liam can find someone just as cold and unfeeling to walk him down the aisle. Okay. Well, we totally respect your wishes. <laughs> I need your help to do something dark and borderline illegal that no one can find out about. What is it? You're the expert at taking kids from their mothers. No way to teach me how it's done. Yes, but what if she was off on a drug binge or at a furry convention? She's probably already psychologically damaged Connor. Look. Unbelievable. The one time I actually want you to be your true self, you refuse. If you want to be a better person, maybe you should start by repairing your relationship with your daughter. No? You take her social media. I'll make some phone calls. And so far, the only skeleton I found is her unfortunate belief that she can pull off stretch velvet. Pretty posh for a pot farm. Maybe it's another cult. Uh, no, but I have a bunch at home in my fridge, so I'm good. We were actually just hoping we can get a quick tour. My friend Heidi was here recently, and she cannot stop raving about this place. Um, orgasmically. Huh. See? Trouble in paradise? No. We're fine. Why didn't Heidi just say she was at that? Whatever it was. Well, maybe she was embarrassed by the orgasmic meditation. Well, I'm sorry it didn't work out. Your mission, not Heidi's, you know. Oh, we're not done. Well, we couldn't find any skeletons in Heidi's closet, so we're gonna have to go buy some bones and build our own. I have a proposal for you. And not an uproot your whole life and stay in Atlanta proposal, a fun one. We could have our very own mom's night out. Uh, you're not actually a mom? Well, not technically, no. But parenting is hard. I mean, I only did it for two days and I feel like I needed a vacation. Not tonight we can go a little crazy. Live a little, what do you say? Oh, please, if you're a pro athlete kind of gal, we can do a lot better than soccer players. Oh, <gasps> shoot. I just realized I left my phone in my room. Do you think you could grab the car and maybe the back entrance? It's way closer to the elevator. <laughs> Heidi jacked a Tesla tonight. That is not And thank I God the Carrington name still carries some weight because otherwise your thieving baby mama would be behind bars. It doesn't really matter what I believe. I just wonder how a family court judge will look upon a single mother with a record of erratic behavior and auto theft. Combined with your little getaway on the vaginal mystery tour, won't look great. Okay. Or we can just settle this in front of a judge. Connor's your brother. I really did need a break. And ugh, Connor's been asking about his father. Spit it out, Swiss miss. I promised I'd keep the identity of Connor's real father a secret. You promised who? I can't say. Obviously, she's talking about your mother. Oh, please. You have never done a selfless thing in your whole life. I think you couldn't stand the idea of people finding out that your husband had a son with a barely legal high school kid. That you know what? Don't bother showing up at the wedding. <laughs> I'm sorry again about the whole auto theft thing. It meant a lot to me that you were willing to violate your new do-gooder vow to help me destroy an innocent woman's credibility and steal her kid. It's the type of thing father-daughter memories are made of. Compared to Laura, your parent of the year. I'll take it. Welcome back. Thanks. Oh, so what were the skeletons in Alexis's closet? I mean, what was so bad that she was willing to leave me? Oh, I can't tell you that. Not to protect Alexis, to, to protect you.